FeatureCam 2013 R2 now has a new option to clip or trim toolpaths to clamps and fixtures. This new option has come in for the 2.5D machining operations. We do this by using the new NT toolpaths and select a check surfaces option to avoid those clamps or fixtures. In this example you can see we've got a mould plate and I've also got a number of pre-created features. You can see we've got all the other features in the group which is the holes in this side operation and I've also got the pre-created bosses. However I'm going to go from the beginning of this subject. I'm going to do this by selecting the top face and creating a boss operation. So I'm going to say new feature I'm going to choose a boss, extract with feature recognition and I'm going to choose the horizontal surface and choose next. I've already got my surface pre-selected, I just need the depth of my part. I can click to the bottom of the component. In this case I'm going to cut just past it by saying minus 15. So I add an extra bit of material or extra cut on the bottom. Everything else I can accept as default and I'll accept the default tool choice as well and say finish. So here is my component. If I go ahead and play my centerline simulation I get my toolpath like so as I would expect. If we do a 3D simulation you can see the part has been machined as we would like. However, we may get issues when we bring in any fixture that we're using. In this case there's already a number of solids pre-created and I've placed these on a different level. So let's go and open the layer dialog and select fixture. Say OK. And you notice all those items appear on the screen. So here you can see we've got a number of clamps and also fixture bars that are holding our stock in place. If I go and select these and turn these into clamps for my simulation and then go ahead and simulate and play that simulation you can see I've got a number of warnings here about the collision you can see part of the fixture has disappeared if I go ahead and choose my pause on gouge single step and play the simulation you can now see quite clearly we've got a collision situation. If I continue to play this the tool is clearly going through my part. So we want to avoid these clamps. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we need to do is in this boss I need to indicate the type of toolpath. You can see there's a new button at the side here that says check surfaces and I want to use this option uh, but I need to change my toolpath strategy. So I'm going to do this by going to the location, uh, sorry, the strategy tab and choosing NT spiral. Let's select, go to the dimensions area and check surfaces is now available. I now want to bring in the surfaces of those clamps. So let's go in and select, and I can do this directly from my part view tree. So I'm going to select those and add those faces in and also select the rubber grips and add those in as well. I can accept those. If I now do a preview of the toolpath and we view from the top we can now see that those clamps have been avoided. So the toolpath has been trimmed out. However, all that's doing is simply trimming to the exact boundary around the shape of that clamp component. So I also want to provide a check allowance to make sure I'm safe of my surfaces. So again, to do this, I'm just going to go into my rough operation. There's no check allowance set, so I'm going to put in a check allowance. In this case, I'll set this to be 10 millimeters. Let's do a centerline simulation. So we can clearly see 
again if I look from the top here now we've avoided this clamp here we've also avoided these bolt locators as well if I go ahead and do the 3D simulation just to verify this play that simulation and I no longer get my collision on my part I can now bring in the rest of the features let's go ahead and play this I've now finished machining my component so I'm happy to send that off to the machine itself.